blessed her that day Faith. she got pregnant. Faith, sure. Then she wound up recording it with the Gaithers with her daughter singing it with her. Faith. And this just keeps going. I got a pretty good check from that song because it was a video and Amy Grant and all these people were on it. And I used the money to buy my bike. And I, I added up all the money that I raised for the Philippines for all the children, hundreds of thousands of children. And it was over $30,000. And we built all kinds of stuff. And it, this song just keeps going as far as blessing. And we've built shelters for children, fed children, clothed children. You know, God wants us to be fruitful and multiply. Not just with having babies, but he wants our life to bear fruit for his kingdom. Amen? Amen. And these beautiful women have come to the house of God. And what better place to be prayed for? For the Lord to let them be fruitful and multiply. So if you could just extend your hands out. Okay. Father God, we just love April. And Father, it is her heart's desire. You put it in her heart that she wants to be a mom. Yes. And God, it's such a miracle that she's come to know you. Please, God. It's such a miracle that she's here. And your Holy Spirit drew her here, and her life is changing through praise and worship. April, just lift your hands up to the Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, we begin to pray uh, for her hormones, Father, to line up with your word. We begin to pray, Father, for you to open her womb. We begin to pray a blessing upon her womb, Father, that you would be merciful and gracious to her, that you would bless her, that you would keep her. You would cause your face to shine upon her. And we speak healing to every organ. We speak alignment, Father, the way that you want her body to align, Father. And we bless her womb. And we pray that she won't worry about it, that she won't focus on it, that she'll just live for you. And Father, in your timing and in your, in your, in your beautiful touch on her life, that you would allow her to have a child. Yes, Lord. And Father, we lift up Monique to you. And precious Monique, I just hear the Father saying how how precious you are to him. She was. How he wants to cover you and how he has a divine order for your life, sweetheart. He he knows you love him. And, and Father, we break off any word curses. Any anything, Father, that has been said. That's not of you. And Father, we begin to pray. I pray this scripture over my beautiful friend and daughter. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, my love. And all these things will be added unto you. May you clothe this precious daughter of the king in robes of righteousness. May she dance before your throne in white linen. Yes, Lord. We love her, God, and we bless her life. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Hallelujah. And God says when he does bless you with a child, you will be a fun mom. Hallelujah. Fun is the word I hear. Amen. Can we give God praise and glory? Awesome. Awesome. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lorraine. Well, at Glenn, we have a, a pledge of allegiance. And uh, Miss Hope, you come on up. Worship team, thank you so much. Oh, wow. This is awesome.
Well, in truth for youth, we, we say the Pledge of Allegiance, and we're taught to honor our father and our mother. We learn the scripture that if you honor your father and your mother, it will go well with you in the land that God has given you. Did you know that honoring parents protects us from communism? Can I explain that? Because the first thing communism does is separate the children from the parents' influence. So when you begin to honor your father and your mother, God has placed them to protect, to provide, and to influence you. Thank you, Lord. So it is very important. We don't call our parents by their first names and all that kind of stuff. We say mama, daddy, maybe it's a grandparent, mima, papa. There's an honor that we give them. Amen? Amen. And, um, and it protects our nation. And when we honor God, God is the one that established family. He oh. established family. Hallelujah. And he said, be fruitful and multiply. But it begins our life when we sow seeds of honor. And, and, and you know, parents aren't perfect. In a, you know, I was thinking about it. A broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it the truth? Yeah, it is. So you still honor, even if your parents are, are broken and hurting. The, uh, feed their soul with honor, and God will heal them. Amen? Amen. So uh, today, Hope and I are going to sing You Are My Ministry, but I want her to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance because we learn about um, honoring our country. So you can, because we put our right hand on our heart, and Glenn, who's a rockin' veteran at our church, I asked him if he would hold the flag. And this flag was Glenn. given to us by the, one of the parents that's out of town today. Are you ready? I pledge allegiance. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job. Amen. All right. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You can be seated. <laughs>